Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking data dashboard using Microsoft's Power BI desktop. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to download Power BI Desktop. And once you do and you install it, then you will get access to this screen. So what we are going to do is we are going to import our data from a data set that we already have. So all I need to do is click this button over here. Now my data set is a CSV file. So that's the one that I'm gonna choose and I'm gonna find it and then I'm gonna connect it to Power BI. Cool. So now once I have my data in here, if you click on this button, transform data, you can go in here and you can clean up some of your data. Like for example, if you don't want certain fields or something like that, you can remove them in here. Or otherwise you can go and edit the CSV file uh, from Excel anyways. So let's say for example, if I don't need the expiry date, all I have to do is just right click and remove. And now I've removed that field once you're happy with how your data looks all you have to do is press close and apply and now your data will be taken to the power bi console cool so now this is where we get started so you've got your you know tools at the top and you've got your visualizations on this side and you have your data over here so the first thing that we're going to do is we are just going to lay out our data visualization so i'm going to do this by going to insert then going into shapes and then i'm going to choose a rectangle and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to have a top bar that goes across the entire visualization, just like that. I'm gonna get rid of filters for a moment. And then what we need to do is now we need to style it. So you can go into style and now for the colors, I'm gonna be using color hunt and I'm gonna be using this color theme here. So I'm gonna grab that color and then I'm gonna go into my color and I'm just gonna change the color in there. I'm also gonna add some text in here. So this is going to be my sales performance dashboard and I'm just going to change the font size to let's say 36 you can change it to whatever you like and you can play around if you want bold or if you want anything like that you can do all that stuff in there uh, there are a few other options in here like shadow and a few other things that you can play around with but I'm going to leave it like that so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that and I'm gonna drag it over the bits and pieces that I need. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just going to change the text and I'm gonna bring that down to let's say 14. All right, and then I can add all of my components in here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the sizing and I'm just gonna lay out my data dashboard you know, maybe something like this. So I'm just gonna speed this part of the video up as I create the template pretty much. Cool, so now once we have our layout, then the first thing that we're gonna put up here is this thing which is called a Q&A. So if you click on this button over here and we put in the Q&A, basically like this is a AI assistant for your dashboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it into that area over here. And let's say for example, I want to search for, you know, like maximum profit. All I need to do is press enter and now I will have that max profit in there. So once we put our Q and A in there, you can always go into the format of the visuals and you can, uh, you know, add certain things. For example, if you want a title, you can add a title that will appear up there. Um, if you want, you know, some other properties and things like that, you can always change it in there. But I'm pretty happy with that because I want a bit more room for these graphs down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put that in there just like that. And now I'll move on to the next thing. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a sales performance, um, kind of like a bar chart in there. So what I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna do this by category. So I'm gonna click off everything. I'm gonna go to category and then I'm gonna go to profit. And so now you can see here we have all of the profits for all of the categories. So, and if I want to, you know, um, 
you know, just sort that out. I can click that little button over here. But what I'm going to do is I want this as a bar chart. All right, so something like that. Now, because we don't have too much space in here, what we can do is we can go into our uh, format visuals. And if we go into general and take off the title, because we already have the title, now we have that showing up nicely. Now, if you want to change any of the colors or anything like that, you can go and do that in here. So for example, if I want to change it to the blue of the dashboard, something like that, but I would probably change it to a different color blue just so it sticks out. So again, you can find that in bars, go into colors and then change it to whatever you want. Now, if you want other things in here, for example, if you want the data labels as well, where you can see the, um, you know, the total cost and things like that, you can also add that in there and you can change the font size. All right, cool. So that's looking pretty good so far. And it's interactive and you can see here that we have, um, you know, the max profit as well, but we're also gonna put the total profit down here as well. Okay, cool. So now we're going to work on location. So there's a few ways to do this, but if I just click on our, you know, field over here, location, and I just put that in there nicely, you know, maybe something like that. And then if I click on one of these maps, so you've got map and you've got field map. So if I click field map and if I drag my location to here as well, now I've got a nice a visual representation of how that looks. Um, and that looks pretty cool. And if I change it to map, and if I drag my locations down, and now I have a, you know, I've got these like little bubbles and things like that. So depending on which one uh, you wanna use, uh, totally up to you. So I'm gonna stick with this one. I'm going to get rid of the legend and then I'm going to change the vis visualization a little bit. I'm going to change the um, the map. You can have a look at some of the different styles. So I'm going to go with a grayscale and I'm just going to increase the bubble size. So maybe I'll do it like that. And then obviously I can also change the colors to, to match the rest of my uh, document. So if you want labels or anything like that, you can always go and change that. The only other thing that I am going to change on this, if I go into my general and then if I take off the title because we don't need the title there. So again, you can have a look at some of the, um, the visual effects in here. You can even do things like heat map as well, which is uh, pretty cool. So there's my location. So now I know I'm in um, you know, Queensland. Um, etc. And uh, yeah, you can see the sales performance uh, changing. And so it is very uh, interactive. Cool. So now that we have that, now let's look at the total profit. So this one is pretty easy. So I'm just going to click away and I'm just going to have profit over here. And I'm just going to put it down there in that section. And so this is the sum of all of the profit that we have at this company. Now, doing it in a bar chart like that is no good, but if I change it to a card, bang, now I have the total profit for all um, you know, of whatever I'm looking for. So you can see here, if we add all of our states, you know, just like that, you can see everything that we have. All right. And then we have also have our maximum profit as well. But again, you can go back and you can change uh, any of these questions and you can ask it to, you know, put in, um, you know, suggestions as well. So you can see all the suggestions in here. So average customer age, you know, uh, etc. All right. So cool. So that is the total profit. This one uh, is going to be the total stock. So if I go back into text and if I just write, you know, total stock on hand, uh, we can have that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click away. And then if I go to stock and if I bring it down into that section over there, um, that looks pretty cool. But again, if we just put this as a card, so now we can see the total number of stock um, right then and there. 
So moving on to payment type. Now payment type, um, people can pay in this store in a number of ways. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag that down and potentially I might have to make this uh, a little bit bigger, but we'll see how we go. So what I want for that is probably a pie chart. So if I click on the pie chart and then if I drag my payment uh, method down to the values, now I have them all in there, but it's just a bit cluttered in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to um, the visualization and now here you can play around with some of the things. So the legend is probably pretty important. So we'll probably keep that. Um, but where you put the legend, yeah, like, that kind of makes a, a big difference. So I'm gonna put it bottom center. The title, uh, we don't really need. Um, and you can play around with some of these uh, things also in there. So if you go into general, again, we don't need the title because we already have the title in there. And if you go back into, um, into that as well, you can, change some of the other effects uh, as well in here. So, you know, you, you can play around and you can have, uh, you know, like changing the, of the colors and things like that. So for example, if I just keep to my uh, color scheme, all right, so there are those two colors and I'll add one more color from Color Hunt. So let's say I put this color in, so I'll change cash and I'll put that as that. So now we have our nice, you know, payment types and you can easily see that. So gender is going to be fairly similar. So if we go in and we choose gender. So again, it's going to give us like this little um, chart over here. And what I want to do is I want to do the same thing. Um, I'm just going to have a pie chart. So again, all we need to do is just uh, visually uh, change things up. So I'm just gonna make sure that the gender is at the bottom and I'm gonna get rid of the title that goes there and then I'm gonna get rid of the other title that goes there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag gender to the values there. And then what I can do is I can always change the color in the slices. So if I pick this and if I pick this one, now I've got the same colors that are in everything as well. All right, so now we're gonna work on the brand performance. So what I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna add a matrix table. All right, so I'm just gonna move it across uh, over here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some, you know, fields in here. So I'm gonna add the brands in there and I'm going to also add the profit. So now you can go in and you can put in, you know, absolutely anything else that you want. You know, for example, if you wanna, you know, show all the categories and things like that, or if you wanna show things like, uh, you know, how much they're selling. Um, so yeah, so I think I'll keep it like that. I think that that looks pretty. So now you can go and change it to like some kind of chart or anything like that, or you can just leave it like that. And so, yeah, so that will give me um, all of the profits and I'm just going to sort the profits from highest to lowest. All right, you can see here that Samsung is making the most money out of all these companies, but you can always add to this. So let's say, for example, I want to add a rating. Now the sum of the rating is probably not that important to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down over here and I'm just gonna go and click on average rating. And so now I've got an average rating for all of those products that are in um, those different companies. So that looks pretty cool, but we can do some other things in here as well. Like for example, if you wanna do some conditional formatting, you can on the profit, you can actually go into some of the profit, go into conditional formatting, go into data bars. And then what we can do is we can put our colors in here. So if I add that in there, and now I've got a visual kind of representation of all of those figures uh, over there. So. I think I will keep it like that. And then what I can do is I can just go back into the design and I can have a look at some of the, you know, like I can even change the presets uh, if you want, you know. So for example, 
you want some flashy rows or something like that you know you can um so yeah so you can go into the visuals and you can change you know certain things you know for example if you want to make uh, any of the font size you know bigger because i got a bit of space i can actually make it you know fit in there you know um but yeah you can do anything you want uh you can take off the subtotals if you want or anything like that um or you can go into some of the general settings as well and change some of these things so the final section over here is the return status so what i'm going to do for that is i'm just going to find the return status and then i'm just going to put it in here and you can basically leave it like that so so now that I've put my return status in there, um, there's a few things that you can do with this. Like for example, if you wanna go and put this as a slicer, so now you have the two values in there, just like that. So we have the return status, not the return status uh, as well. And so that's pretty much it. All right, so now look, there are a whole range of things that you can actually do in here. So please go and have a look at all of these uh, settings over here. If you have more time-based things, you know, maybe like line charts or maybe even like scatter charts, things like that. Um, but honestly, you know, if you click on any of these things, it is super interactive and you can, you know, get whatever data you need to get out of there. The final thing that I am going to add in here is if I go back into my insert tab and if I click on an image I'm just going to add my logo in there right at the top Salesforce and I'm pretty happy with that so now I'm, I can save it and that's pretty much it so to share this document what you can do is you can go up here and you can go share uh, you can copy that link or you can download this as well so if you go to file export, you can download this as a PDF or anything like that, but it will not be interactive because it will just be a PDF document. So anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching this short tutorial on how to create a data dashboard in Microsoft's Power BI. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.